Libra placements, I've missed you guys so much. So this is going to be a reading for March 1st to the 15th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means not all the messages are going to resonate. If you like information on personals, the link for that will be in the description box below. And I am doing rituals, which by the way have been super powerful. Um, people that have signed up for it so far have said that it's worked in instantly and it's worked for me. I have one for attracting a soulmate, getting more money, um, getting a raise, also removing any blockages. Only $7 to $10. for So as much as like a coffee or maybe something to eat, you can go ahead and change your life. The link for that will be in the description box below. I do also have my manifestation oils for sale. I'm going to use my spiritual DNA oil just so it can enhance this reading. But I have one for money, abundance. Um, attracting love and protection as well but those are a little bit more expensive and it could take time the rituals way better I would just go with that um, so let's take a look and see Libra placements what do you guys need to know we have two of cups two of pentacles the lovers card wow four of wands I know this is me because I've been stuck in <laughs> in love land that's why I don't have time to do tarot because I'm just like sucked into my relationship Page of Swords, the Emperor, and Strength card. If you're not here yet, I'm a Libra too, so this is resonating with me. It's only a matter of time before you meet this Emperor or this Empress. And your ex from the past, the one that you were with the longest, or the one that, you know, hurt you the most, or the one that you invested the most into, they're going to be trapped in their mind. So this Emperor is someone that the Divine placed into your life. So this ex was supposed to be with you. They may have been ordained to be in a connection with you. There was some sort of contract that you were supposed to fulfill. This ex decided to bounce out. They hurt you in the process. They kept you in this mental mind trap. It took you a while to be able to move forward from them. This ex was juggling you with someone else. You finally put the puzzle pieces together. You had to move forward. It took you a long time to get yourself out of these mental binds and restrictions that were being put on you. Not just by your ex, but, but by everyone that this person had attached to them. Now you're in the process of attracting a new soulmate relationship. I don't know if you guys are here yet. If you're already in a connection, it seems like the one that you're with is the emperor. And you have to be able to ward off any other temptation that comes in. But for the most part, most of you watching are single. And it says with the lovers and the four of wands that there's a relationship that's about to form. This could even be a best friend that ends up being your ride or die for life. But it's really leaning more towards like a romantic connection. And this is the one that you've been waiting for. So please do not self-sabotage. And I ha I've been having to tell myself this. And even my friends have been having to tell me and remind me not to self-sabotage. Because this emperor is going to trigger a lot of the same wounds that your ex did. Only theirs is different. This new person is going to be controlled. They're going to be on their throne. This is someone who knows what they want and is willing to go after it. This new person will have options. They're going to be extremely good looking. I'm not going to lie to you. However, despite these options, this person will have tunnel vision for you. So regardless of who comes into the picture, they will not uh, be disloyal to you. They will not do anything to jeopardize the integrity of the relationship. And this is someone that's going to have their eyes solely focused on you. This is going to be either all four kings in one person or all four queens. The queen of cups, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, and queen of swords. So you're going to have... Basically, the ultimate man or woman in one person. This is going to be someone that's highly sought after and your relationship will be divinely guided. It's because you've worked so hard on yourself that the divine feels like it's only fair for you to have someone who's equally just as great. I feel like you're going to be perplexed when you realize who it is that you're about to attract if you haven't been attracting them already. With the strength card, this is someone who's going to actually increase the strength and the confidence that you have within you because you both are going to be working together in the yin and yang type of energy. This is not someone that's going to want to stress you out. They want something stable. They want someone to build with. This emperor has been having a hard time meeting the one as well. Why? Because they were suited for you. So regardless of who this emperor dates, if it's not you, it's not going to feel right. It's always going to feel like a, a piece is missing. This ex is going to catch wind of you finally moving on. They're going to be losing their SHIT. And unfortunately for this person, they chose to eject from the throne that was originally supposed to be theirs. And now their role is getting filled. It's like this person felt like they had an unlimited amount of time to go out there and date and do what they want and, you know, use themselves up and they can come back to you at the very end and commit. And that's not what's happening. This person is realizing that they've just ruined this path for themselves once and for all. When you were single, it was fine because you were alone. So in this ex's mind, it's like there was still a possibility of you guys coming together, maybe things reconciling in the future, especially if there's kids together. But now with this emperor here, oh man, this person, this ex of yours is going to know that they, they are no match. They're not even going to try. 
this person may even cower away so if you've been having this ex consistently bother you once they see this emperor come in they're gonna know that this is not a woman or a man that's gonna play games and they will they will physically fight for that spot if necessary the emperor is the person that has like i said all aspects so they can be ratchet if they need to this is someone who is going to defend you they're not going to play about you especially if they know what you've been through some of you this emperor is someone who's been watching you um like a this is like a friend turned lover for some of you it really just depends on each individual watching this could be a brand new person for like 50 percent of you others this is like a friend turned lover and it's like they've always had these feelings and one day they're just gonna up and like tell you disclose to you how they truly feel and that's what's gonna start the relationship moving forward so let me get another deck that way i can get some additional messages yeah sucks for this ex oh yeah they're gonna be stuck stuck for life this person is gonna be obsessed with you for the rest of their life remember how long it took you to finally let go of this person multiply that times three that same stuck energy they left you in it's like this person is gonna have to live with the decision this is like you being this world-renowned celebrity and you having an ex not know who you truly are Sorry, got interrupted, but this is like you being a world-renowned celebrity. Your ex not knowing about it at the time and not knowing what your true potential is. Them letting go of you. You finally having this glow up, finally getting to the position of where you're truly successful. And then someone coming in and taking their place that would have been theirs had they just been loyal and patient and kind to you. And so that's why this person is not going to get over it and all of a sudden I want to choke. So yeah, this person does not want you to know truly how much they're about to regret i don't think they know themselves how much they're about to regret whatever decision led to the ending of the connection with you but this was meant to happen because they ultimately pushed you to the one that you're truly going to be with the one that is truly deserving of you this emperor or empress is not going to play games at all they're not going to have um yeah they're not going to have the same antics this is someone who is controlled within themselves they know what they want and they know that they want you and that's what they're going to focus on the household the home, the marriage, the business together that you're going to have. They're going to focus on you and your growth and nourishing you so that you can be the best that you can be. It's like you're the driving force and this emperor is going to be the one fueling and healing you. It's, wow, this is just beautiful. This is going to be someone that you start off as friends with. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Some of you, this is a friend turned lover. Others of you, this is just someone who's going to be patient with you and they're going to allow you to heal. Because at first, when you first meet this emperor, you're going to be unsure of them. Because of how many disappointments you've had in love, you're automatically going to put this person in the same ranking as everyone else. But slowly but surely, this person will be persistent. So they will wait until you go through any other options. They will wait their turn. Because like I said, this person was created just for you. They have no choice but to basically be patient. And they're willing to. Because as they're being patient, you're also healing simultaneously. So let me get another deck. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Moon, Strength card again. Yeah, you're very strong. You're resilient. You're the warrior. You've had to go through so many trials and tribulations that, that would have killed certain people, literally. And you are a surviving force. You have the same knowledge and wisdom that I feel like many ancestors before you did. And you're the type of person that has the capability of changing the way that people think and believe and giving them resources that giving resources that can help change the world. That's what I'm seeing with the world card. You're also meant to be in the public eye in some way, shape or form. Some of you may have been dealing with the Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, maybe even Pisces. I usually don't call out signs, but those just showed up. But with the eight of wands, your communication skills are what one of your strengths are so you keeping your mouth shut or people trying to silence you may have been the upper hand that they had over you on the past but now that you've been getting your confidence back now that you've been fighting for yourself you're at the point where like you sometimes even fight for the underdog you're the type of person who i feel um is on the right side like justice and fairness and equality are all qualities that mean a lot to you with the queen of swords in reverse being here as well this future person coming in will have an ex themselves so it's like you both are going to marry each other you're going to have an ex that can't let you go this new person is going to have an ex that can't let them go this new person's ex will be losing their mind this is someone who i feel yes they're intelligent but they use their intelligence as a way to harm others or just to be evil and conniving in some way they're going to attempt to do that with your relationship however it's not going to work out this emperor had an ex 
who mistreated them, misguided them, bullied them, beat them down as much as they possibly could. This could even be like a man that was getting abused by a female and behind the scenes. And because of how much shame he had, he didn't really have a place to speak about it. And now that this person is about to meet you and they're going to be loved properly, they will never go back to this person. It's like it, it's it's actually going to fuel their anger and their angst even more because now being with somebody that's truly as divine and as pure as you look you can tame even the worst lions that's how much power that you have within yourself this is also going to help increase your income so i feel like you focusing more on your career your money your accolades your household your empire that's what's going to bring this new person in but the more that you go chasing after love especially in the wrong places the less likely it is to happen the person that I am ending up being with has been there all along, like the last like seven, eight years. And it was just like one day I woke up and I just saw him differently. It was weird. Same thing might happen to you. That's what I'm saying. It could be someone that's already around you, but things never took off. Yes, there has been a slight level of attraction there. But like I said, it's, you've been preoccupied with other connections, other karmics, other, other situations. And it's finally time for you to be happy. Finally time for you to get your wishes granted. Finally time for you to be content. Especially after dealing with secretive situations, secretive people wanting to hide things, hold you back, third party situations that had nothing to do with you, that were only here to keep you stuck and bound. And by you making the decision to leave things behind and to walk on faith, not knowing what's going to come in for you, is what's actually going to be your greatest asset. Because I feel like you have this brand new beginning coming in, in the form of a person that's going to help you progress. A support system this is going to be one person who has the amount of strength of like eight people so the two of you accomplishing things could actually create empires off the ground if you decide to take that chance because like I said there's a chance that like four percent of you will try to sabotage it and you will get warning signs that you're about to sabotage something that's great or something that's meant to be so make sure you're heeding the signs leave replacements what do you guys need to know? Nine of Swords in reverse. Any stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, all those things that you went through, all that pain, all that disparity, I promise you it was not for it was not for nothing. It was not in vain. You've gained so much knowledge and wisdom up until this point. You've had people try to smother you, smother your light. You've had people um, try to siphon your light and try to use it on others as well. And you've actually come out of it stable, grounded. You actually have more now than you did when you were dealing with these manipulated people. And now that they're no longer in your life, especially this one specific person, you were able to go through this introspection phase, this dark night of the soul that was possibly caused by something painful. And it's going to lead you to success. It's going to lead you to victory. So you almost have something to think with these past people, because had they not done you wrong, you wouldn't be as successful as you are now. You wouldn't have that fuel to turn you from the phoenix onto the fire, right? And with the lovers, this is this brand new person coming in. And I promise you the connection is going to be just like that. I didn't think it was possible for me either. Here I am. So yeah, with the Six of Swords, you're going to be moving forward. Possibly even moving homes. Moving with this person. Blending families, if that's the case. Um, but just make sure that you are feeding your inner child. You're paying attention to your kids if you have any. And that with the Six of Cups, you don't allow the past to hold you back. Because you have this brand new beginning waiting for you. All you have to do is just release. Release any resentment that you're harboring. Release the need to be resentful, to not forgive, because that does bring limitations in the flow of things. And with the Three of Wands, know that this past person is never going to be able to move on from you. I don't care how many people they date. I don't care if they ever get married. I don't care. This person is stuck on you. They weren't... It's, it's weird. When you were with them, it's like they almost paid you no mind at all. Now that you're no longer in the picture, their obsession for you has grown because you may be the first person that they don't they no longer have access to. Your past ex had some sort of quality that was attractive, just like you did. However, they use that attraction as a means to manipulate others, and that's what separated the both of you together was your intentions were always in a good place. Your exes, however, was not. So let's see. Anything else that Libra placement needs to know? The Hierophant, Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. Wow. 
So if the person you were connected to in the past, your ex, let's say they left you behind, they left someone else, or left you to go and be with someone else, they're going to be heartbroken. They're going to get stabbed in the back the same way they did you wrong. So whoever they left you for or whoever tempted them away from the connection with you or whatever interference it was, it was the incubus, succubus spirit or some sort of Jezebel trap and this person fell for it. And you know what's weird is that God prepared both of these men almost the exact same way. So the history between this new person and the, their ex, it's like they're going to have similar timelines. The only difference is like one decided to stay on their path and the other did not. And I feel like people are going to watch your ex, they're going to watch his or her life crumble. Because the same way they tried to make you out as a fool is the same way that energy is going to come back. Infinity. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, exactly. With the Seven of Swords in reverse, no longer are you going to be dealing with any lies, deception, trickery, underhanded, because now you're the high priestess. You learn through this scenario, through this person that would not commit to you. They taught you how to trust your intuition. And let's see. Before I let you go. Passion, insane chemistry, and the phoenix. I was just talking about that. So you're about to have a new phase in your life. Insane chemistry with this person. Excuse me. <coughs> I've been sick. <coughs> and I'm finally getting over it. And liking each other equally. So thank you so much for your support. You guys have a good night. Before I let you go, let me get one more. They're saying the chaser. So don't be the chaser in the codependent situation because that's what you were connected to in the past. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Don't forget about the rituals. The link for that will be in the description box. Bye.